What is up everybody, it's Klaus and thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be watching a few replays doing some live attacks of Queen Walk attacks. Now I'm attacking Sahu 2, 4,232 Dark Elixir on this base and we have Dark Elixir in the storage and then we have a bunch of Dark Elixir in these drills down here. It's absolute beauty guys, it is absolute beauty. So I'm going to come out of this uh, top side with my Queen Walk and I've got a few archers making a funnel that way she'll go into the middle because you don't want her walking around the edge and completely missing the Dark Elixir in the drill. Now that is fairly deep, but the good thing is that that Queen just took out that air defense, and so we're looking pretty good. Those uh, top level or max level Teslas for Town Hall 9 are pretty beast, and uh, it's, uh, it's a rough thing to have to fight against, but we got two, uh, we've got two Rage Spells, so if we need them, we can use them, and we've also got her special ability. And look at how much damage that max level Tesla does, guys. It's crazy. Um, the problem is that the Queen went to the right first. If she had taken out the Tesla on the left and the Wizard Tower on the left, then she would have went to the right and taken out that storage. But she actually chooses to go to the left first, so that's unfortunate for us. Um, but I'm pretty sure at this point, or pretty soon, we're going to be dropping our Giants. So let me back up just a little bit. Um, yeah, there we go. So the Giants are coming in on the bottom side. And, uh, you know, big group of Giants, two of them. Also the Clan Castle. Giants, a king, and a bunch of archers just to help create the funnel. I just want the archers and the in the giants and the goblins to go in and get all the dark elixir out of the drills. I don't really even care if they make their way to the town hall because honestly, there's not a lot in the town hall. I can tell, and I'm sure you can too. Uh, but there is a king and a queen down there, so we heal spell that big group, and hopefully we can uh, take out the king and the queen with our king and queen. Uh, sadly, our king died. But we got a whole bunch of archers down there that's going to do some work on the heroes while they're busy with the giants. Now our queen has swung swung around, luckily, and she's taking out that clan castle and then that dark elixir storage right after. But we got a whole bunch of expos and crazy stuff going on. We did get all the dark elixir out of the bottom drills. And uh, so now the queen is tacked onto that dark elixir storage. There's not a whole lot left going on down there. I will drop my goblins in hopes of getting into the center. But uh, without a heal, those goblins die within seconds. I'm going to rage my queen. Uh, we've got a whole lot of firepower on that queen right now. Basically, I'm just keeping her alive to take out the storages now. Because, uh, why not, you know? And uh, she's taking out the uh, elixir storage. we got some goblins helping out. And then the queen is going to go down, take out a gold mine, and then a Tesla. And I'm sure by then we'll have run out of time. But look at this, guys. we got a whole bunch of goblins down here. The queen is targeting them. And I realize that there's no way they're going to get anywhere. So I don't waste a spell. I'll just let them die on the wall. And uh, the healed, raged queen, not the healed, but the raged queen will get uh, raged into full health again before we end the battle, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Hoping that we could end this battle with a full health queen. Now that's always nice. Uh, but we're going to take out this gold, or almost take out the gold storage. She almost finished off the battle with 100% health, which is wonderful. So anyway, 100,000 gold, 382,000 elixir, 3,732 dark elixirs. Pretty sweet, I have to admit. That's beautiful stuff. That's wonderful stuff. Yeah. And also the, the loot bonus. We can't forget about that Crystal 2 loot bonus. is pretty sweet too. But anyway, I've got an army trained up. Let's go in and do a live Queen Walk attack. Maybe watch another replay. And then I've got some upgrades to do. Let's go. Hey guys, this is a dead base. Master Malik, you are going down, my friend. So dead bases are really fun because you don't have to stress about getting into the base. You can just stress about attacking one side with the Queen Walk. Like... One side of the Queen Walk and the other side with the Giants. That's what I'm going to do. So, uh, looks like my Dark Elixir is on the left and on the right. And where's my Queen? Queen is on the bottom right. So let's take out the Queen with the Queen Walk. Just like so. I'm going to go ahead and put my Queen down here. Uh, healers there. And then I would like to use my Archers to help her to go to the right. Yeah, that would be ideal. Uh, but we'll just have to see how she goes. As soon as that Cannon aggro's on the Queen, then uh, we'll have something did uh oh we're good okay no no wait uh, okay we're good that it was close I, I had to really watch and pay attention because that uh archer towers max level for town nine almost killed us but anyway she's going to the right which is good stuff that's good news um so i'm gonna go ahead and drop my giants over here on the left i've got two finger deployment on the uh, top and on the right of the corner there there is that i'm the two finger deployment the archers along the corner here uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, wall breakers. I'm going to use my clan castle. Where's my clan castle? There's my clan castle. And then my giants. I'm going to hold on to my goblins just so that I can, uh, use them wherever I want to later 
in the fight. So uh, we're doing good, everything is looking nice, we're squeezing the base from the right and on the left. And um, our, uh, our healers are looking good, our giants are all looking good, we've got pretty much the entire base except for the top side, which is where the queen is going, so that's good news there. Um, we got uh, really high level defenses in this base, guys, I'm really surprised it's dead, maybe it was a hacker, or a modder, maybe, maybe, maybe so, I don't know. But um, looks like a lot of our giants are going down to the bottom, that, mean, that means they're going to go up to the top of the base, which is, uh, or like through the middle. Which is always good. Now if our queen could swing around and get these storages over here, or these collectors and mines, that would be nice. Uh, but it looks like the giants are going to be stuck on the wall there for a little while. And uh, our queen is going to try to go into the middle of the base. She's not going to go to the top, unfortunately. Let's drop a goblin. Yeah, that goblin's going to get that one just fine. Let's drop one goblin too. Yeah, that king is like, he ain't going to have that. That's not going to fly. Um, where's the queen going to go now? She's going to step up and get, yeah, she's going to try to go into the middle too, which is unfortunate, but there's really nothing left of consequence in this base. The only thing that's left really is this cannon, this wizard tower, and this king. So, uh, we're doing pretty good. We can take out that king. That would be nice. Uh, actually, he's going to get bored and leave. That, that's always weird when that happens. <laughs> that's always strange. But anyway, so the queen is going to go in. She's going to work on the core. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop these goblins from the bottom side, make their way up, and I'm going to heal and rage my goblins because, uh, because why not, right? So they're going to go into the core. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to need to do that. The uh, the giants are doing work just as well. So as soon as they walk up and get near the uh, clan castle, I'm going to go ahead and heal and then rage. And now they're going to go in. They're going to get that gold storage up there. And uh, we did miss out on a little bit of gold up at the top. But it's going to have to be okay. No big deal. Pop my queen special ability just to uh, just to let her recover the health and to let the, uh, the little archers come through. And um, we're going to take out all the defenses in this base and then call it quits. Actually, we didn't get the Wizard Tower. Bummer. But anyway, 232,000 gold, 292,000 elixir, and 2.3k Dark Elixir, all, as well as the uh, full loot bonus for Crystal League 1, 70,000 gold in elixir, 320 Dark Elixir. It's pretty sweet up here in Crystal League, and I uh, feel like I'm going to be pushing into Masters League pretty quickly. So, uh, beautiful stuff, guys. Good stuff. Let's go watch a replay, and then I'm, I, I got a few... Uh, I've got a few things we need to do, uh, upgrades, and uh, maybe a common question of the day if I can find a good one. Check this out, guys. Me against Super. There's 3,600 Dark Elixir in this base, and uh, we've got a drill on the bottom left, a collector on, in the middle, and a drill on the bottom right. So I'm coming in from this bottom side, kind of direct, like if you were to draw a line, it would go straight to that storage, but the drills are on the left or on the right, so I'm using the archers to take out the barracks just to help her kind of go straight into the base. Giants on the left and archers on the right to create the funnel. So uh, all seems to be going fairly well. I've got my wall breakers coming in to let the giants in and the super queen or queen walk if you will. And uh, giant bomb was popped by the wall breakers. So that's actually nice. That's not too bad. We have some uh, clan castle wizards which is never good. But we've got a poison spell so it should be okay. Uh, we already got the dark elixir out of that drill over there, but now we got to worry about that storage. We got a ton of defenses. Those level three expos are rough on the troops. We got a few Val uh, Valkyries from the Kalan Castle, which is always useful. Looks like the king is going to get that dark elixir storage. We got our super queen taken out, that wizard tower, and then the mortar, and hopefully she'll step up and get that drill. And that's going to be all for the dark elixir in this base. If we can get the town hall, that'll be 100% of the dark elixir. I'm going to go ahead and release my goblins down here on, on there on the bottom side and the king just died unfortunately on that cannon but uh, not a whole lot really of consequence only 380 dark elixir left in the base so what I'm hoping is that the super queen queen walk will uh, step up take out this expo and then take out that town hall and um, of course she's gonna be busy on other buildings first but um, really nothing of huge consequence like I said it's not like there's a queen on the base that's right next to her or anything like that don't need to worry about spells um, but I may use a Rage spell just to get her through the high HP buildings uh, here in just a minute. But she's working on the Elixir storage. Now she's probably going to get that Archer Tower next. Uh, yeah, she's going to get that Archer Tower next. And a Rage spell would be good right now. Uh, Klaus from last night while I was tired. I might not have done it. Actually, you know what? 20 seconds to take out that Town Hall. I think we're going to get it, guys. Without a Rage spell, which is always good. Isn't it? And, you know, there's a lot of loot left in the base, especially up here. But um, the, the the sheer strength of this base really defended pretty well against my army. I did release everything really quickly, kind of rushed. And when you do that, your little troops die because you're, like, your giants don't get far enough ahead. 
But um, anyway, so the Super Queen worked 3,558 Dark Elixir and, uh, you know, a little bit of Golden Elixir, not too shabby. Uh, a good raid and something I wanted to show y'all because you don't always have the 3-star base to get what you want. I got all but 94 of the Dark Elixir, the rest of that was probably in that clan castle. So, uh, pretty good base, pretty good raid, uh, enjoyed it. Now let's go back to base, let's go to my progress base. And let's talk about some upgrades. All right, guys, here's the progress base. Let's zoom in to the ongoing list here. And this time tomorrow, it's about noon. Laboratory is going to be done with Valks level four. That's awesome. So I'm going to have max level Valks. And my goal is to start the golems to level three. Because I've noticed that not having level three golems is severely hindering my ability to attack in war, which is why I'm not in war right now, actually. And so uh, I would like to start that. That's 70,000 Dark Elixir in about 24 hours. And I've got 114,000, so I've got plenty. But I also want to start my king to level 16. As you can see, guys, my king is level 16. My queen is level 17. So my king... He's he's fallen behind a little bit, so I want to get him going ahead of time. So he needs seventy-five thousand dark elixir to uh, to upgrade. So the, the king is seventy-five thousand. The Valk or the golems will be seventy thousand. That's one hundred and forty-five thousand dark elixir, and I've got one hundred and fourteen thousand. So what is that? That's about thirty thousand dark elixir between now and tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start the king to level uh, seventeen today. I'm not gonna gem him. And um, then tomorrow, I will be doing a boost and hopefully starting my laboratory live. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post an extra long video tomorrow as opposed to the Weekend Warriors videos that I've been doing just to kind of change it up a little bit. And I'm going to post an entire boost. Now, I'll cut out the parts when I'm not attacking, of course, but it's going to be like nine, ten attacks. Some of them will be fails, but I figured you guys would enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. And and it'll be fun. So um, anyway, before we start the Barbarian King, we also need to remember I've got some stuff in my clan castle. I've got about 5,700 Dark Elixir in the clan castle, but I'm not going to collect it because I don't need it right now. So let's uh, let's do a few walls first. I've got um, I'm going to be doing a boost tomorrow. That way I'm you know I'm going to be able to get plenty of golden elixir. So let's go ahead and spend a bunch of it today. Um, let's do uh, let's do three million in gold right now. So that'll be. 3 million gold in, let me see, 3 million gold for walls in 3, 2, 1, BAM! Sweet, alright, so that is that, and then I'll go ahead and do this with the elixir here, boom! And let's do one more with the elixir, just for fun, we're just, we're staying ahead guys, we're getting the walls done, we're getting the heroes done, we're getting the buildings done, we are doing some serious work on this base, and it is absolutely beautiful. I think that's a good word to put it, or a good way to put it, so that's a 1, 2, 3, BAM! There we go. So, how many walls have we done so far? Each line is 44, so that's 88. Oh gosh, that's hard math. <laughs> Some of y'all are probably like, Klaus, come on. But it's it's rough math. So let's uh, remove all. Go over here. I have done 133 level uh, 9 walls. That is beautiful, guys. 133. I'm over halfway done with my level 9 walls, which is wonderful. And then we get to start the lava walls, level 10. That's going to take freaking three years to finish but anyway so let's cancel that out go back to the progress base and let's spend some dark elixir shall we i've got uh 114,000 dark elixir i need to spend 75,000 and 70,000 tomorrow so it's going to be a lot of fun let's pull the barbarian king out he will be uh well he's not going to fit in our line here these mortars are in the way, but 75,000 Dark Elixir. I'm going to go ahead and post this on Twitter, so excuse me while I snap some photos for Instagram here. Um, 75,000 Dark Elixir. Go ahead and start this in 3, 2, 1. Bam! Boom! Yeah! Alright, so pop this uh, photo. No, I closed it, man. Come on now. <laughs> snap that photo and then show that I just spent all kinds of loot. That is a four photo grid for Instagram. Be sure and check me out on Instagram and also Twitter. I've been posting a lot of uh, polls on Twitter. You guys can help influence what happens on my channel by following me and answering the questions on Twitter. So do that. Both links are in the description below. But anyway, enough of that. Let's uh, look at this. We got seven days till the Barbarian King is level 17. He won't be legal to vote, but at least he's older than 16, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, and then the Queen's 90,000 Dark Elixir. We're going to have to do that eventually, but we are not ready for that, especially with this laboratory coming up. So um, anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. Let me, uh, you know what? 
Let's answer today's comment question of the day. Okay, guys, I found one. Here's my phone. It's right here. The comment question of the day comes from Josh McKee, and he asks, what was your motivation to start uploading Clash of Clans videos, and how did you learn about Clash of Clans? Now, I, th I think I answered this before, but I don't remember, so I'm going to go ahead and answer it again, guys. So, Clash of Clans was a game I learned about from my ex-roommate from college. He played for about a year before I played, and uh, he is featured, he's Papa Wood, he's featured in my oldest videos. Go check those out, they're, they're fun to watch now that we've come so far in the channel, but... Um, Papa Wood started playing, he was a Town Hall 9 when I started, now he's a Town Hall 10. And uh, we, uh, I just started playing, I, I just enjoyed it, and I knew I'd get addicted to it, so I waited a very, very long time to start playing. But um, once I started playing, that was it. I was done, I was gonna play forever. And uh, so I started wanting to post my big loot raids because I found some crazy raids, at least what I thought was crazy back then. So I decided to start the channel, show off some raids, and then it just exploded from there. I started making guides, I started making bases, I started doing p trophy pushes and war videos and, and everything. So my motivation was really wanting to share with the world what I was doing. That was the main thing, and then it just kind of grew from there. So that is my short and quick answer to today's comment question of the day. If you have any comment questions that you'd like answered, please post them in the comment section below, and I'll answer them eventually. As you can tell, the yeah, the answer from uh, Josh was from days ago, so I do look back into the past and find uh, questions I want to answer. I found uh, several other questions I want to answer too, but be sure and post yours in the comment section below. And that's it for today's video. Look forward to tomorrow's video. It's going to be a beast. Hopefully, hopefully at least 30 minutes. It's going to be pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, sit back and enjoy that. I'm going to be using the Queen Walk Gigarch attack strategy. So, uh, you know, if you like the Queen Walk, you'll enjoy that video. Like the video today. If you liked it, subscribe. If you haven't done that already, be sure and join today's Klaus Gaming family. Hashtag class family, as you can see above my head. Um, it's growing each and every day. We're going to be hitting 2,000 very, very soon, and it is amazing. I love each and every one of you. You are my family, and I'm yours. I love you guys. I'll see you all next time. Peace.